This video is going to be on calculating harmonic motion. Yay! Bust those calculators out. Okay, so. Oh my. Let me pause this real quick. Sorry guys, I don't really like to overwhelm you with a whole bunch of information all at one time. So let's try this again. Calculating harmonic motion. Bam. So, here are a couple of questions. We actually had this in our notes. The first one is, what is a cycle? So, let's just go ahead and answer that. A cycle is one full start to finish. Okay, so like, you know, I'll get on with the examples in a second. But what is a period? They, they almost sound like the same thing. It's the time it takes to complete one full cycle. So basically, how is... um. How are these two different? A cycle is one full start to finish. A period is how long it takes to finish from one full start to finish. Does that make sense? Let me, just, let me say that again. A period is how long it takes to complete a cycle. And a cycle is one full start to a finish. Okay. So here are, is an example. Swinging. One full push back and forth. You know, or you could even say a clock you know, one time all the way around the clock, 60 seconds all the way around the clock. Now, what is a period? A period is the time it takes. So, you know, the for this swinging example, how long, if I took my stopwatch out and I timed you, how long would it take for you to do one full push back and then forth again? Okay. And then another example for the clock is, well, it obviously takes 60 seconds for the clock to go all the way, or the, one, the hand to go all the way around the clock. Okay, next. So period. What is the period? All right. Period, here is the formula. We already talked about what um, a period is, or or if we haven't, we're going to talk about it. Um, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I'm tripping. We just talked about what a period is. Here is the formula for period. T equals 1 over F. And here's the formula for frequency. You're going to be implementing these very shortly. So period is always expressed in seconds and frequency is always expressed in hertz. Okay. So let's use these formulas right now. We're going to actually answer this question. Let's do it together. It says a vacuum cleaner makes 15 revolutions per second. What is its period and frequency? Okay. So now let's actually get this bad boy moving. You have two different things here that you're trying to figure out, period and frequency. Remember, the period is, let me, let me go back. The period is the time it takes to complete one full cycle. In this, um, in this uh, excuse me, paragraph, do you see a cycle? Like, does it tell you how long it takes for one full cycle? You really don't see that if you're confused. It says 15 revolutions per second. So that really means 15 cycles every second. But a period is one cycle per second. So you have to do some math to figure out how long. Right now, you got 15 cycles, okay, for one second. And you want to figure out how long it takes for one, excuse me, one cycle. All right. How long is it going to take for one cycle? Mm, sorry, I'm erasing stuff. One cycle. How long does that actually take? Okay, so the way you're going to want to figure this out is you're going to want to divide stuff, right? So you're going to want to start off by putting the time on the on the top. So how long does it take? You know, if you got it takes one second for 15 cycles or 15 revolutions. So how long is it going to take for one um, revolution? So what's 1 divided by 15? Let's do it real quick. 1 divided by 15 is going to be 0 0.06 repeating. Okay, so now we know what our period is. That means every 0 0.06 seconds you get one revolution. All right, that's pretty fast. Every 0 0.06 seconds you get one revolution. So that is our period. We just figured it out. And now, what is our frequency? Well, remember, frequency was this formula right here in the blue. So you take F equals, you know, 1 over 0 0.06 repeating. And it's going to be, oh, seconds, you know, you always want to label. And it's going to be something in hertz. As far as I'm concerned, you can leave it like that. You don't have to solve it. If you really want to solve it, then it's going to be 1 divided by 0 0.06 repeating, and it's going to give you something like 16 hertz, okay? 
Next. So, the pendulum takes three seconds to complete 30 cycles. What is the period and frequency? Here's a hint. Anytime you see what is the period and frequency, know you have to figure out what the period is first before you can figure out what the frequency frequency is. Okay, remember what period is. It is the time it takes for one full cycle. Well, do you, do you have that just out in your face like that it says it takes three seconds for 30 cycles we want to know how long let me write that down how long oh my for one cycle okay this is some ugly handwriting how long is it going to take for one cycle so you're going to you're going to put the three seconds on the top and you're going to divide it by 30 cycles why are you putting three seconds on the top and not the 30 cycles? Like, how come you didn't write it like this? You know, 30 cycles in three seconds. Well, let me explain that to you. The reason why you want to use this one is because right now you're trying to figure out how long, which is a form of time. Okay. Um, so if you're trying to figure out how long, then your time unit always is on the top. Okay. But if you want to know how many cycles you know, then you would put that on the top. So we don't want to know how many cycles. We want to know how long for one cycle. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. So three divided by 30 cycles. And it's going to equal 0.1 second. So what that means is every 0.1 second, you get one cycle. All right. And so now you're going to go ahead and use the formula to find out the frequency. F equals 1 over 0.1 point one second it's going to give you something in hertz okay and you can leave it just like that as far as i'm concerned remember um if you really want to solve it it's going to be one divided by point one will give you something like 10 hertz remember to always include your units okay all right let's try another one an oscillator makes 300 vibrations in two minutes what is the period and the frequency okay well, there's something I really want to draw to your attention. First of all, it says two minutes. So right now it's saying every two minutes you get 300 vibrations. Period is the time it takes for one full cycle. And also remember, period is always expressed in seconds, not like in this thing right here. It actually gives you minutes. So what do you think you're going to want to do when you see minutes? You're going to want to change those to seconds. So two minutes, how many seconds is that? Remember, Okay, so let's do that. Two minutes. We'll just kind of recap you on that dimensional analysis. Two minutes, you know, equals, so like one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Remember that? These cancel out. Two times 60 equals 120, and your units are seconds. Okay, so you got 120 seconds. So every 120 seconds, you get 300 vibrations. That's not going to cut it. You not you need to make that into you need to find out what the period is and remember you've got 120 seconds and every 120 seconds you get 300 vibrations so we want to figure out how long does it take for one vibration to occur so you're going to put the 120 seconds on the top remember because you want to figure out how long and you're going to put the 300 vibrations on the bottom okay and then you're going to want to do some math so when I did the math I found out that that is going to equal Point zero four, or excuse me, not point zero four. Oopsie. Try that again. All right, it's going to equal point four seconds. So every point four seconds, one vibration occurs, and that is an actual period. What is our frequency? F equals one over point four seconds. It's going to give you something in hertz. Okay, and you can leave it like that. All right. Okay. This last one is is pretty big. What I'm going to I'm going to actually have you do this one on your own. I'm going to just solve it and show you the answer. Okay? But this one's a big one. Uh it says, "What is the period of Earth revolving around the sun? What is its frequency?" So, here's a hint. One revolution is 365 days. So, what do you think you're going to do with this time? Remember, um always expressed in seconds. So you're going to want to take those days and change them into seconds. So I'm going to pause it, or I'm going to have you pause it, try to solve it, come back and see if you got the right answer. Okay? Okay, so here is the answer, and I'll just briefly explain what I did. 
Remember, the in the yellow, that was a good review of the dimensional analysis. And that's basically, start off with 365 days, and using the conversion factors, I was able to find out that, okay, um, there are 31 million, I'll just leave it like that, 31 million seconds in 365 days. Okay, and once I was able to determine that time, then I used my frequency formula and I plugged it in here. And I'm really not even going to attempt to try and answer that by, you know, it's going to give you a long, uh, long decimal. Okay, that's how you do that. All right.